I'm Kyle McFarland. Welcome back to another episode of VetView. This time, we will be looking at a 1971 Corvette Coupe. With a 270 horsepower 350 cubic inch engine, with automatic transmission, code CGT. This Stingray was recently up for auction on eBay and sold for $15,000. Sold! The bidding was very active with 41 bids and 14 bidders over a 10-day auction. All bids appeared to be legitimate without any shills. From the description, it states the following. This beautiful 1971 Corvette Stingray is a numbers matching car with the original engine and transmission, well optioned with factory air conditioning, power windows, power steering, power brakes, and tilt telescoping wheel. It starts right up, runs and drives well. It sounds like a muscle car should. The body is in great shape and the white paint shines beautifully. The saddle interior is like new, has some small upgrades like a vintage stereo, looks original, but is modern with Bluetooth and USB. The T-tops go on and off as they should. Also this vet has a factory pop-out rear window. The power windows work great, all the gauges, indicators, and lights work as they should. The headlights go up and down with the switch, sometimes slowly, but they do work. Overall, it's a great classic car with a numbers matching original drivetrain. Not a perfect show car or museum quality, but something you can get in and have fun with, yet it still has collector car value. Now, over to George Spankel for his commentary on originality. Well, Kyle, first this Corvette has the wrong wheels. It should have the classic C3 Corvette rally wheels, which were first introduced in 1968, the first year for the C3 Corvette. And second, under the hood, we've got a missing radiator shroud. This car will overheat without it. Also, under the hood, Kyle, it's missing all of the ignition shielding. We also see the wrong oil fill cap. The original would have been a rubber cap, which typically fall apart over time, but fortunately there are original replacements available. The interior looks good, but we've got the wrong steering wheel. It looks like it's one from a later 70s Corvette, or it could even be an aftermarket model. Okay. Thanks, George. Now let's check the parts rack with Jamie Colavito. Thanks, Kyle. For this 1971 Corvette, it will need a set of 15 by 8 inch rally wheels. This consists of the steel wheel, plus the center cap and trim ring. Next, this Corvette will absolutely need a radiator shroud and brackets to avoid overheating and complete the restoration. This Stingray is missing all of its ignition shielding, so it will need a complete set, like this. Also, an original rubber oil fill cap is needed. Finally, an original 71 steering wheel will complete the interior restoration. I've included links in the description below for all the parts which I have shown. By clicking on the links, you can go directly to a reputable Corvette parts distributor. Now, back to you, Kyle. Thanks, Jamie. We will now discuss our thoughts regarding this 1971 base engine Corvette. So, George, overall, what is your opinion of this 1971 VET? Kyle, I think it's a very good-looking original Corvette. It seems it only needs a few items. Paint is obviously a respray, and it's a little messy, with some overspray in spots, but I think it looks pretty good. I reckon it won't take much to clean up the overspray and make the paint look top-notch. Now George, what do you think of the selling price at $15,000? Do you think the buyer got a good deal on this vet? I think the buyer did get a relatively good deal. This car is very complete. It's very original, only needs a few items replaced to get it to be completely original. So yeah, I think they got a good deal, but I also think the seller got a good price as well. So. You think both the buyer and the seller got a fair deal? Yeah, Kyle, I think it was a fair deal. This car is not perfect, so the seller can't expect top dollar. These 71 base engine Corvettes are going for about $30,000 when they're totally perfect. This one is not. So yeah, I think overall both got a fair deal. You know, George, I've seen some 71 Corvettes go for quite a bit more than $30,000. Yes, Kyle, but those have optional engines, such as the LT1 or the 454 Big Block LS5 or LS6. Okay. Well, there you have it. 
please subscribe to our channel for more analysis of Corvettes for sale. If you would like a Corvette featured on VetView, send us an email at vetview at yahoo.com. Please include your description and some pictures. If you have video, include the link to where we can find your Corvette. Special thanks to George Spankel and Jamie Colavito for their contribution to this video. Once again, this is Kyle McFarlane for VetView. Hope to see you next time.